Molly here from Discover the Big Island Real Estate. I'm here with my friend Nakoa Pabre, Aloha. Uh, owner and operator of the most amazing restaurant in town, Umekis. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Hello, guys. <laughs> so we're going to be talking about how he started and how uh, how many locations do you have so far, Nakoa? Oh, uh, you know, we were up to three at one point, but now we're down to one which is changing very shortly. Yes. Um, we'll be opening up at the Kona Airport in a, nice. in a couple of months. Oh so my gosh. So we'll have two locations. Oh my yeah, gosh, yeah. Nicola. That's very exciting. Your growth has been so refreshing to our community. Thank you. Uh, I mean, you serve the most amazing poke in town. Thank you. Which one is your best seller and which one do you think that the locals like crave? Uh, I think the Kanaka. I think the Kanaka is, um, you know, it's one of the more traditional ones, but uh, it has our touch on it, and it's very easy to eat and enjoyable for, for everybody. Yes. Nakoa, how did you start it into the uh, food industry? So I was uh, the kid that always got stuck helping the uncles and aunties at every party in town and, and all that stuff. And then, uh, you know, I did plumbing for 13, 14 years and got approached by a buddy of mine to open up a spot. And then we went into business together we had one location um, called the Poke Shack, and then you know decided to venture off on my own after a while. Then I started off our original Umekis in 2012. Yes. And then now we've grown to a full service uh, restaurant and wow. one of the biggest restaurants in town. Wow. Yeah. And the way you guys, the this specific restaurant is decorated, is just unbelievably beautiful. Thank you. You have a beautiful patio. Thank you. That you're very, very proud of because it was a lot of work. It was. Hard. It was. I remember you when you first opened this restaurant, you were here 24-7, making sure that everything was installed properly, lighting and everything. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it was a full-on project Absolutely. opening this location. Yeah. Restaurants are a lot of work, you know. Um, I'm only as good as my staff and my yes. team. And now I come my blessings. I have an awesome management team that allows me to get more freedom <laughs> and to go venture out more in the world. Right. Yeah. No, I mean, Nakoa, you've been hustling since day yeah. one. So, you out know. Out of the womb. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and so now it's time for, you know, I mean, you have built a team. Yes. And so now you can, you know, Take more time with yeah, family absolutely. and, and, and or, or open other ventures. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the goal. Nakua, what, is the, what are the pros and cons of opening a business here in Hawaii? Uh, so, you know, the pros is if you have a good product and you take care of your community, community will take care of you. Yes. And that, I'm big on that. So that's why, I mean, you already know, I do so much community events. Yes. And with that, the reward to that is the amount of... Um, uh, local people directing the tourists to come to Mekis. You right, know what I mean? It's, right, right. They become my marketing team, which right. is awesome. I th I'd say the cons is um, is staffing. Nowadays, yes. that's the huge challenge. It's not only in Hawaii, but no, across the world. That is true. You know, staffing issues are, are really tough. So, right. Yeah, I think that's the main ones for me. Right, yeah. right, right. And also, I mean, it, it, as far as like, if you wanted to open up shop and you wanted to do construction dealing with the planning department, it's oh, another hundred percent. You know, they, they they claim they're making things easier, but I know, I know it could be the whole the change that they will go, adopted a new system. So yes, let's hope epic. that you know in a year or so. We need new government, Nakua. Uh, we I've, need you I've there, I've thought about man. it multiple times. I know. I did. I did. I I don't know if I'm quite ready for it. I am looking uh, for a couple of boards to volunteer yes, for, yes, yes, so yes. that I can get the experience and stuff like that. Good. So maybe do it in the future. That's great. That is yeah. amazing. I mean, because he's not only a business owner for uh, his restaurant, but he also advocates for our local community. Um, and I'm so excited if you were to join a board, oh. the changes that he would impose. Yeah. Uh, in the community will be all positive. 100% for the people. Yep. Yes, a thousand percent. And the and best interest of the community. And also, I wanted to thank you. Um, I have a nonprofit, and you have supported our nonprofit with our fundraising efforts for Kona Play Rounds. Oh, yeah? For the, yes. And not only that, I mean, you support a lot. Yeah. Well, you I have my own nonprofit as well. It's called Kiki yes. Daina, where we, oh, nice. you know, we perpetuate the Hawaiian culture. We yes. teach kids how to fish, farm, hunt, and all that oh, stuff. How can too. they find it? How can people uh, find it? We have an Instagram and a Facebook called Kikis of the Aina Foundation. Check it out. Follow our page. And we were constantly doing things for the community, uh, trying to teach kids in our cultural practices. That is beautiful. Yeah, yeah thank that you. That is so, so beautiful. Because a lot of people talk about wanting to improve the community, but not many get the idea to fruition and start a nonprofit. So for me, right? I like to talk a lot about it. And that's why I make sure I hold myself accountable to do it. Yes. 
you know? Yeah, and people are going to start to I don't want to be a talker. You, yeah. No, exactly. It's very important to yeah. hold on to our word and, and, and move forward with what we say we're Absolutely. going to do. Absolutely. Oh, Nakoa, I yeah. mean, I, you have an amazing restaurant. Your staff Thank loves you. you. Mahalo. And I don't say this lightly. I was talking to the girls. Like, every time I come here, like, your staff, it's like they're yeah. glowing. They're happy. You foster a culture to where they are really enjoying working here. So what do you think it's like your, your um, why do you think they're so happy to show up to work every single day in this very challenging I time think, on uh, the island? So I think we, I mean, pretty much I have a relationship with every one of them because I truly care yes. about what's going on with them, what's going on with their lives. Yes. Um, I'm always there for, if they need me, you know, somebody with my crew, some one of my managers, car broke down, you know, like just, how can I get her car? You know exactly. what I mean? Like, yeah. I really care about their outside lives, not just what, while they're working for me. You know, right. we become one big Umeke Zohana, and yeah. that's the way we treat everybody. That is so yeah. beautiful, Nakoa. Thank you. Thank and, you. and you know what? And you have carried that feeling and thought to, from day one. Yeah. Right? I mean, your it's, essence It's something that changed. my parents have taught me from young age, you know, and so I carry on the tradition. Oh, Nakua. Yeah, yeah. Well, cheers to your success. Mahalo. You have a beautiful operation, and I'm really inviting everybody that is watching this video to come out and try Umekis. You guys are going to love it. Favorite dish to order? Kanaka? Ah, uh, Kanaka poke or ahikatsu. Uh, or kaubi. One of those. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Aloha. Aloha.